So I'm Jeremy Alder. I'm the security lead for Celtic Bank in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, I'll be discussing the logarithm platform. We're currently on version 7.3.4. So we utilize uh, the logarithm solution to monitor most of our servers and our users to make sure that nothing anomalous is happening. What I really love about the logarithm platform is the fact that when something anomalous happens, I can see it almost immediately through the ability um, to collect a massive amount of logs in a very small footprint as far as hardware goes. We do utilize everything. I think one of the most recent things that I've really enjoyed about Logarithm is the ab ability to utilize smart responses published by Logarithm. Um, for example, one of our use cases is that when we have a terminal users group, um, a termed users group, that when someone is placed in there, we want to monitor to see if their account is ever activated again. And so we have a smart response set up that when um, a termed user is enabled, the smart response immediately activates and says, bam, that user is getting disabled again. We don't want anyone to have access to that at all. Logarithm has really improved, I think, my personal sense of security as far as our organization. I feel that I can trust the data that it's pulling in. Through its metrics, I can see when something isn't reporting. So I know immediately if maybe, say, one of our core servers isn't feeding its logs to us, I can remediate that almost immediately and then feel secure again knowing that that data is coming to Logarithm and Logarithm is correctly dealing with it and I can know that our security is in place. Yeah, um, we haven't used any of the Logarithm built-in playbooks yet. Stability has been really good. Um, the Logarithm platform in our environment actually sat for three years um, with no one really using it. I came in about six months ago and was able to pull it from generating about a thousand alarms a day that were just heartbeat errors or critical components going down to it actually only generating about a hundred alarms a day. Some of those being diagnostic alarms and most of them being very helpful alarms that um, rarely ever point to having a component being down. So with some short maintenance, you know, daily, Logarithm has been a very, very stable platform. That's actually a great question. Scalability with the Logarithm platform has been immensely easy. We went from about five system monitors to over 200 in a week. We implemented that through our uh, uh, system management thing, but rolling out 200 system monitors in a week was incredibly easy through um, the client console, which um, Logarithm has documented uh, immensely well. I've only ever had, uh, tech support with Logarithm has been, has been great. I've only ever had one bad case out of about the 15 or 20 tickets I put in. They usually immediately get back to me and even if it's something outside of their scope, they're always willing to help refer me to the person that I need to talk to and my um, issue is always resolved within the week. Logarithm's support for log sources is great. We have about 3,000 log sources right now that we're taking in. Most of that is coming into our main data collector, but anytime you've had any new log sources that we need to onboard, it's been pretty seamless and we haven't seen any performance hit on our main box. With our logarithm solution, we're processing anywhere from 800 to 1,500 messages per second. With the logarithm platform, we're processing anywhere from 800 to 1,500 messages per second. We don't see a performance hit at all. So currently right now, I'm the only person administrating and analyzing any of the data from Logarithm. And it's something that has been a little bit of a, a workload for me, but it's something that with an organization our size, about 250 employees, that I've been able to do myself. And I feel that if we ever do grow bigger, I'll need more individuals to help administer and analyze some of the data from Logarithm. But right now, it's pretty manageable by myself. Yeah, we've, we've seen mean time to detect and to respond go down pretty significantly. We actually recently implemented the Cloud AI solution, which allowed us to look into our users' anomalous behavior. And recently, we actually had some um, user who's a remote user. Um, he traveled to somewhere else in the US. And um, Cloud AI flagged it and was like, hey, this user is um, authenticating from somewhere new. This is somewhere we've seen before. And I jumped right in. I'm saying, hey, what's this user doing? So we emailed their manager who emailed them, and they said, oh no, I'm just in, on vacation in California, it's okay. And so we had Cloud AI learn about it, and um, now it's really easy to see when a user does something anomalous. So um, Cloud AI has been something in our environment that I have <laughs> enjoyed immensely. It takes really a lot of the guesswork out of what our users are doing. Um, right when we implemented it, our CEO was actually out of the state and um, we were having a hard time getting a lot of his user data because he was out of the state on vacation. And when he came back immediately, Cloud AI flagged him in the 80s with a threat score being from zero to 100. And so immediately I was like, oh crap, our CEO's account has been compromised. 
But no, Cloudy was still learning our environment. It took it about a month or two to learn what was happening in our environment, what was going on, and then our, all of our threat scores, they kind of hover around the 20s now. And when someone does something anomalous, when they um, work out of state, even when they authenticate to a different Microsoft server, it lets us know immediately what's going on, and it lets us know and it lets us understand what our users are doing. Cloudia has definitely enhanced our security operations. It helps me understand what the users are doing almost instantaneously. It helps me understand what these users are doing in a daily report. And it helps me really feel why our users are doing certain things, why they're authenticating to certain servers. It helps me understand what their job would really want them to access or what their job has them access. And when they do something different from that, I really want to know why they're doing that. And so Cloudia helps me know what our users are doing rather than what hosts are doing or what servers are doing. It helps me know what the users are doing with their accounts. I think uh, somewhere Cloudia would have room for improvement is maybe correlating um, hosts with IPs. Because often I'll have a user, it'll come up with an anomaly score saying um, it's been authenticated from different hosts. But really what it is is it'll have the user's computer then the user's IP that they're coming from, and then sometimes um, their host name with our domain name afterwards. And so sometimes Cloud AI will usually be uh, alerting us on some things that really are just the user's computer IP coming up multiple times. And so I think condensing and consolidating um, what a user accesses over and over again and just having Cloud AI understand that that's all of the users and you can consider it as one thing rather than multiple things and alarming on it and alerting me on it, having me have a mini heart attack every time it tells me that this user is authenticating from a new place. So we've had Cloud AI implemented into our um, deployment for about three months so far. And out of that three months, we've only had one day of downtime. And that was with a scheduled uh, transfer from how they were hosting before to where they're hosting it now. And so um, st stability and uptime has been 99% plus. So it's been something that I can count on every day to come in and see this report and rely on it. We really haven't had the chance to scale Cloud AI. We've, we're pretty... Uh, we're a growing organization, but we're not ballooning. We're not adding on new users. Cloud AI is a great option to sync with AD, to pull all your users in, and you can just set up the identities and run with it on day one. So, so the reason why we went with Cloud AI and decided that it was something we needed in our environment was because we had the log data for a lot of our servers, a lot of our hosts. We had the authentication data from our domain controller on the users, but we really wanted to understand what the users were doing and why they were doing it. And so we looked into other artificial intelligence programs that would do some of the similar things, but we realized that Cloud AI would do what we wanted, but then feed the data right back into the logarithm platform. And with that, we were able to see what the users were doing along with what our servers were doing, what the hosts were doing. And we could have all that data correlated and we could understand it in one big picture right in the web console. And implementation of Cloud AI was incredibly easy. We just ran a script, added a certificate, and all of a sudden we were sending the data to them and we had a report the next day. Uh, when we choose a vendor to work with, the number one thing that we want to understand is that they understand the product. We aren't just going to go to a vendor and say, here's our money, please go learn about this product and then implement it in our environment, because I'll just implement it, I'll just learn about it myself and do it. But if I go to a vendor and learn they know about this product, they've implemented something before, I'm gonna go with them nine times out of 10 because they will do something that I can't do myself because I don't understand what's going on. Cloud AI has really influenced um, the way our security program has matured by helping people outside of the IT department understand what we're doing as far as security goes. They can walk right into the SOC and see up on the wall, oh, look at these users what's happening with these users, and we can explain pretty simply what Cloud AI does, and they understand what the SOC is doing for the company. So it's really helping us help the executive team understand what the SOC does. If I had to rate Logarithm and Cloud AI out of 10, I think I'd give it an eight. There's still room for Logarithm to improve, and they've uh, laid out a pretty great roadmap for what they want to do in the future. And I think if they continue to innovate and continue to implement the things that they've talked about, that they'll continue to grow in my eyes. There is some room for improvement, but overall, if you want a very solid platform with stability and scalability, Logarithm is definitely the way to go.